Hello, my name is Aeyang Choi. My name is Pedro Arista. Hi, I'm Lynn Lancaster. Jia Gong. Gary Sharma. Hello, my name is Amber Mitchell, and I'm a founding member of the Sisterhood of Philanthropists Impacting Needs, or SPIN for short. I am a founding member of the LGBTQ Latinx Giving Circle. I am one of the lucky original members of the Asian Women Giving Circle. I'm a member of the Orchid Giving Circle. I am a member and one of the founders of Rad Fund. A founding member and co-president of Impact 100 Sonoma, California. I joined the Orchid Giving Circle because I understood the significance of a group of like-minded women of color that are visibly giving back to a community that share a similar culture, language, or values. I was really inspired to start Rad Fund because um, at the time in 2015, I had been watching the Black Lives Matter movement grow. Um, and I was really feeling like I wanted to do more than just go to the marches and participate in that way. And I got together with three of my friends. Well, one of the things that motivated us was thinking a little bit about our giving and realizing that for many of us, the giving was pretty ad hoc. Um, you know, we were giving in small random amounts when friends asked us to, but that we didn't have, uh, we weren't being intentional about how we were giving and in thinking about how we could leverage the collect collective possibility of giving with others. And ultimately those conversations led us to building Rad Fund. One of the reasons we started Impact 100 Sonoma was we wanted to be able to find a way to do more directed giving in our own community. We have a lot of small nonprofits here. We didn't even know who they all were or what their needs were or what communities they were serving. And I think a lot of people wanted to be able to give in a way that was a little bit more educated, that if, if we could really read their proposals and understand what they were trying to do, we could be more effective philanthropists. When I would look around in the philanthropic space, I wouldn't, at the time, I wouldn't see a lot of people that looked like me, that sounded like me, that had similar lived experiences like me. And for that reason, I really wanted to be part of a group of individuals, philanthropists coming together to, um, to offer not only talent and resources, but to offer that in a loving way. I personally love being a part of a giving circle specifically then because um, it's taught me so much I I didn't I didn't know what philanthropy was like at all just that wasn't my background you know I grew up with a single mom your typical story single mom father wasn't around you know someone was all that like I'm the oldest of yeah anyway um so to actually like learn and being put on this earth to be a generational curse breaker um I love being a part of a giving circle because it makes learning about philanthropy a little bit more uh chewable and digestible because anytime you think about philanthropists you think about these stars or these millionaires or billionaires who have like all this money you know and so forgiving circles is like tones it down and it's like you know this is doable you don't have to have thousands or millions and billions or trillions of dollars just to be a philanthropist and give back there's multiple ways that you can still be and carry that title of being a philanthropist um, without breaking your pockets um, breaking your bank account if you asked me what I love most about collective giving it is never what I would have thought at the beginning of this journey I would have thought I've learned about philanthropy and I've learned more business skills and I've learned about being on a board and that's not what it is. What I learned was about how to be part of a community. I've learned who our members are and what roles they play and I've learned about our nonprofits and I've learned how they interact with each other and with the town and with all the different factors within our community and I feel like I'm part of a, of a bigger whole and that has meant the world to me. On top of the work that we do, what I love is the dynamic, the, the, the feelings that we have for each other. Uh, we meet several times a year because there's so, so many things that we need to do. Uh, but we, and we always end up having fun doing it. Of course, there's a lot of hard work. But we go out to dinner together. We meet after the work, after the meetings. Um, and 
we just basically love to to support each other and work together and uh, the outcome is that we are able to support the artists that we we do because we are able to come together and stick together and i think that all the circles that the people are starting uh popping up everywhere these days are doing so much good we are part of a movement that is changing philanthropy now and forever this is a time when we have an opportunity the time is now to really change what philanthropy is my advice to you is jump launchpad is the perfect place to find guidance and to get answers all the best in starting your own giving circle. You can do it, start your circle. Do it, start the giving circle. It's needed, like it shouldn't even, there should be no question about it. Like you can do it, don't overthink it at all. Do what's best for you, what's best for your community, um, what's best for, you know, helping those around you. I just go, we need it. Like this, this, the world needs it. The world needs your giving circle. Your community needs your giving circle. You do, like it will definitely change you, your perspective, um, everything. So definitely go for it. Please, please, please start. Just start, just do it. You can do it. Bye.